let's well, let's yeah. talk about what it means to be all in. Like what what are all these places offering or doing for World Wellness Weekend? Give us some examples. Super easy. Super easy. Uh, we have two categories of participating venues. A participating venues and they get a badge if they organize one hour that is free with a class activity. It can be a yoga session, a mm -hmm. guided relaxation. And we have lots of guided relaxations happening around the world during World Wellness Weekend with the theme this year, inner peace and world peace. So no politics, no religion, mm -hmm. no Catholicism, Buddhism. It's just you being there, present in the, in the moment, mindfulness expressing itself, but with an intention of gaining more inner peace. And God knows we know more of that after the, 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 the health situation, mm -hmm. the mental health situation we have with depression, anxiety, um, um, uh, worries that we have with COVID now with the situation with inflation, possibly de depression, uh, so a recession. So this is something, a fitness session, um, a walk, uh, a run, anything they want, one hour, giving to the local community one hour of the time of one member of their team. On the payroll, that's just mm. a scratch, mm -hmm. and it's giving back to the community. So that's a participating venue. It's easy. Sign up. Say, I'll do a fitness club. Uh, I'll do a fitness session. Uh, we'll, you know, walk-ins are welcome for a fitness class or yoga session or whatever. We have a second category of venues that we call wellness champions. And these venues don't do just one activity, they do three. Mm. Because we have three days, Friday 16, mm. Saturday and Sunday. And uh, easy for them to organize one activity per day or three activities on one day. And most uh, of them take this opportunity as a marketing tool to promote what they really do. They will target an audience that loves going for a sweat, um, loud music, excitement, endorphins releasing. They want the noise. They want the excitement. They want ah, to feel this release uh, with the hormones kicking in after, and there will be a class just for them. Others say, for me, wellness, take care of me. Mm. I want, I, I would just, the, the quiet, the peace, I want the relaxation. And others say, I want to do something with my partner. I want to do something with friends and family. So it's more a collective activity that they mm -hmm. can join in. So this is with one event in three days, three opportunities to bring three different types of clients to your venue, if it's in person or online. And lots of activities are going to be offered online. Last year, 52 hours of wellness videos have been produced spontaneously, some by, by countries like in Vietnam, which were still in lockdown, Australia, still mm -hmm. very complicated. Others that said, we're open to the public, but we also want to share the backdrop of the, um, of the cliffs in California. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have a yoga class and you can enjoy, if you're in your apartment, if you're in, traveling, commuting, or if you want to join us, Use that and breathe in, breathe out that this fresh air of California writing uh, right there for us. So these activities um, help us to send a badge of being a wellness champion for these. Well, it's exciting. And I don't want to take too much of your time because I, I speak too much, but I'm too <laughs> passionate about this. The, the, the exciting thing is that we're going to, last year we had an official start of the event in Fiji at sunrise on Friday we had a blessing from one of the chiefs walking in the water, taking a conch, blowing mm. three times into the as the sun was rising and sending a blessing to the rest of the world for more inclusivity, wellness, mm. peace, understanding. At the time, Fiji was still in lockdown with a lockdown that lasted for over a year. So imagine what it takes for a person mm. that says there's no tourist, there's just us. And the industry is suffering, but we still have good wishes to send to you because this is the first place the sun is rising. Mm -hmm. Peninsula Hot Springs is usually the second. They organize great activities with mm -hmm. a didgeridoo. <laughs> it's fantastic. The vibrations they send, the, the, the tonic activity with fitness with a very famous coach or with the relaxation. And then last year, 132 countries. This year, 139 countries, mm -hmm. hopefully 140 with so many activities during three days. The final closing event this year will be in Hawaii with Fairmont Orchid uh, at sunset 
on Sunday. They will start around four with yoga. Then they will have a guided meditation. Then they will have a vibrational healing as the sun really sets for whoever wants to join on the lawn, looking at that, this will be the official closing from sunrise in Fiji on Friday to sunset in Hawaii on Sunday. 